Summer Games Done Quick, abbreviated as SGDQ, is a charity speedrunning event. It takes, uh, it's a week-long event. A bunch of speedrunners from all over the world will submit games um, to be a part of it. Once you become an attendee, you know you book your flights, you do whatever it is that you want to do to get here. And then um, there are a number of different rooms you can enter. So some rooms are s set up specifically for the runners. There's we're currently in the practice room, which is open to really anyone that is a part of the event can be a part of any game that they want to. They've got like a whole setup of games over there that you can choose from. So you can play games. There's an arcade. There's the stream room where the actual marathons runs are taking place. You can go in there. There's a number of seats. Uh, of course, you, you, there's a ton of people you can meet and talk to. There's hospitality areas where there's like different food options you can eat. There's food places all around. Um, really, there's there's a ton of things that you can do while you're here, but all in the name of you know playing different games and and having a good time. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hey. Thank you guys very much for joining me at this wonderful hour for some super Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. I'm Indy, and I like to play Star Wars. All right, ready? Three, two, one, and go. Also, I'm playing on easy, but that in no way means that this run is actually easy. Got it. And then the next blaster power up will come at the start of this cave. You're gonna take care of your Tauntaun, right? It's of course gonna be I'm okay. Gonna, Tauntaun's gonna be fine. All right, fun. I, just, I just, you know. It's gonna be fun. Nobody thinks about the Tauntaun. I always no. think about the Tauntaun. It's so cute. Right. The Tauntaun's okay. Okay, thanks. Kill another Wampa. It's not as big as the other one we saw before. Normally I'd be a, a little bit more talkative, but I actually really do have to focus now that uh, you're experiencing the game without the, uh, the OP weapons. Okay, good. So whenever you do that slide glitch <laughs> that I mentioned before, it allows you to clip into Vader's sprite. When you're on the inside of Vader's sprite, he likes to jump to the opposite direction of the side that you're on. So by clipping into his left side, he jumps up to the right. And that allows me to clip into him once again, and he keeps wanting to go right, but is unable to. So I can just sit here and, and have a dance party and then destroy him. Coming up on time here. Get ready. And time. Nice. And that is Super Empire Strikes Back. Thank you guys so much. Well, GDQ is very different from other gaming events. I, I call GDQ Nerd Vegas because it's going on 24 hours a day and there's literally anything you could want to do here if you're a nerd. There's an arcade going on. It's definitely different in that fact. No one's trying to sell you anything here. And I think that's a big difference between most uh, gaming conventions. Uh, if someone's gonna try and sell you something or, or something's gonna go on. Here, it's just getting together, raising some money for charity and playing games. It's like a big sleepover almost. Thursday, I had a Super Mario Brothers 3 all forts race against Mitch Flower Power. He's the current number one player in the world. I'm current number two. Um, it ended, uh, I would say, a bit controversially uh, with his console turning off right when he was about to overtake me for a victory. No! Oh. Oh. So uh, hopefully we'll get to do a rematch pretty soon of that. Uh, today I got to race uh, Super Mario Maker against some other uh, five of the other greatest players in the community, and uh, it's a team race, base race, and it was ah, it's super fun. It's the best. And going second for Team Stay Hydrated, he's an online personality, best known for Mario Maker. Give it up for Pooh Bear. <laughs> We have one more donation, actually. Let's go ahead and read it now. We have a $150 donation from Wooing Lemur. 
and it says, <laughs> and it says, the highlight of the week is you six so showing off your swag Kaizo tricks. Carl, Cliffy, and Pooh fail Glitch and Jakku, passing off the Wii U gamepad done quick. Oh. Very nice. Pooh Bear with the alley oop into the pipe. There's the checkpoint, checkpoint. they were looking for. Unfortunately, the time playing against them here, they have just about a minute and 20 seconds or so to deal with. So they're going to have to play really quickly yeah. here if they want these five seconds. This one, this one is for the belt. So it is the one that matters. There it is. They're playing for the championship belt, and we're going to decide it right now. So is it going to be a crowd? Oh, no That's checkpoint. the trick, though. There is no there checkpoint. There is no checkpoint. I didn't catch that part. You said that. Crowd, I want to know. Stay hydrated or jabated. Who are you going for? Let's hear it. He gets it. Oh, One second oh left. God. It's over. That's it. <laughs> they are popping off. They have won the belt. Oh, Give them the belt. Yeah. There it is. Just come. <laughs> it's 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 niche because it's unique. It's different. There's nothing else like this. Uh, there's always something to do. If you love you love video games. You love speedrunning. Try coming to the event. Bring a friend. It's always better with friends. Uh, you can come by yourself, but I honestly believe coming with a friend. It's always going to be better. There's always something to do. Always things to share, experiences to have together. Um, not speedrunner related is just hanging out with my buds. You know, uh, I don't get to see people very often. Um, probably, you know, once or twice a year if I don't go to both events. So if I get to just hang out with my friends for a week, that's the most fun I can have, you know. Yeah. So uh, yeah. if we did it right here at the end, we should have uh, 1,245 tiles. Uh, so we'll see. Oh, you're making me nervous. Yeah. Should pop up at the end. Uh, hold on, it's, it's coming. There we go. There, there we go. Oh, just one short. Number. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> My run was fantastic. Um, I didn't know how it'd be uh, portrayed, or it's, it's kind of like an arbitrary category that I did. So I didn't. I didn't know if the the audience would be able to follow it, but I. Well, after looking back, after watching the VOD, uh, people were really receptive of it and they really enjoyed it. So uh, It was always fun to see friends, meet new people. Um, you know, we're here to play video games, so it's fun to play video games. Uh, it's nice because the weather's nice, there's always stuff to go, go out and do. Um, you're not just crammed in a building when it's freezing outside like in the winter. Um, and it's just, you know, people walk the same hobby, all coming together. Uh, we had a nice trip at the mall yesterday. Um, but the Allegiance boys are like some of my favorite people, so it's always a blast hanging out with them. Uh, it, it's, it's the people. The people definitely make the experience. You can love video games and you can love speed runs, and sure that's here and that's what the event's around, but the people actually at the event and the people you share all the experiences with is really what makes it the best. I still have friends from when I started showing up years ago, and we still make inside jokes from like 2013. Like it's it's amazing the bonds you make at this place. It's it's awesome.